In today's video, I'm going to show you the best cover three beater in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're brand new to the channel and you've never been to my channel before, what I do on YouTube is I upload videos every single day. We do about four to eight videos every day on YouTube and those videos are all designed to teach you and help you become a better Madden player and both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. So... If you have not subscribed yet, it's completely free to subscribe on YouTube, and I would highly encourage you to subscribe. Also, if you have not joined the channel yet, I would actually recommend you consider doing that. It helps support the channel a ton, and there's also some great perks that come along with being a channel member. So consider doing that, and then if you have any Madden questions, you can always text me. My number is in the top left-hand corner. We're going to dive right in, though, and I want to share with you this Cover 3 beater. Um, this is one of the best plays, I think, in the game, but it comes to us from the Seattle Gun Bunch. And the play that we're going to be utilizing today is the play clear out SE out. Now, I will preface this by saying it is really, really important that you use a slot apprentice on your receiver or have a hot rod master. Now, most of you have that. If you play mutt, you're using Rich Gannon with hot rod master anyway. If you're, you know, if you're playing regs, I would just recommend having. I would honestly recommend just using the bucks and regs. Um, but you could also use the. Um, you, you, you could also use other teams. Just have a slot apprentice on the field. And uh, this is going to be every cover, literally every cover three. Um, so I'm just going to come out in a basic cover three. I got two cover threes, one with the deep blue on the left and one with the deep blue on the right on the bunch side. So we're just going to dive right in here and clear out SE out. Now, one thing that I would actually recommend that you think a little bit about here is coming out in this thing flipped and the reason why when you flip the bunches and things like that when you put a hot route on the field when you flip it back the hot route stays so for example i could put mike evans on a corner route flip it and now you see what this play looks like okay so now i have a cover three beater to the left and then all i'm going to simply do is put my slot corner on a corner uh, a corner route now the number one read that i really want to show you is this um this route to circle you see there, just hard right pass lead. And as long as you get a decent pass lead, this is going to be super, super effective. So I'll show you really quickly. Here. And that's that's really the route combo. It's just a corner and that wiggly fade to the right. You see how far he gets to the right. Now, Tom Brady doesn't have the best arm, at least in regs. But in mutt, that's going to be an automatic touchdown. Now, you can obviously get this. You just have to wait for that guy to kind of glitch out. And there you see we're able to get the one-play touchdown. The reason that this is really is really really powerful is because if they want to run any form of cover three, right? I and most people like to run cover three um, to the trip side as a base defense with the safety in the seam. Even if they have the safety in the seam, this is not going to work. So let me just show you. Let me show you my play here. You notice that the safety is on that side. Okay, so he's in a good position to make a play, but he's not going to make a play. All right, as you can see here. Um, you know, he's just not there. And I can pass like that hard right because it's a wiggly fade. It goes to the outside. It doesn't just stay straight up streak. And uh, it just gets over the, the safety every single time. So that's one way to run this cover three. The next way to run this cover three is let's say that they are um, one of the adjustments that they can do is they can put their outside safety or outside corner, I'm sorry, into a deep half. Now, if you watch this here, this deep half should run with this outside fade. You see, if I try to throw the fade, he's he's really not, uh, or whoops, I tried to throw to Brown, but he's really not there. Uh, let me show you that one more time because I made the wrong adjustment. So if I if I put the slot corner on a corner route, if you watch here, you'll notice that that guy runs with Antonio Brown and there's no way to hit it. You see that? There's literally nothing you can do. So what do you do? Well, this is where this offense really is tough to stop, in my opinion. Um, because what you do is you simply throw the corner route with a pass lead up. If you pass lead him up, he gets over the cover, over the court coverage, and you're able to hit that. Another thing that you want to do with this play, in my opinion, is you definitely want to quick snap it. Um, if you quick snap it, it does help it, and it does make it more... Um, more effective. So I'll show you really quickly here uh, this other one. And this one doesn't work all the time, but if you put that corner route to Mike Evans and you have this, if the safety is on the side of Godwin, 
oftentimes this tight end will be running will, will literally run wide open over the top you see here if i pass lead this up and again you want to i, I got to put some adjustments to the defense because you're really not going to get what they just did to me uh where you got like match coverage and stuff typically that's not going to happen because people are going to be doing zone drops and they're going to be dropping uh players and things like that so you just have to kind of be aware of that but you notice how this just totally jacks up the zones um but anyway what let me just show you so again and they're probably going to jump up and go user godwin uh, or brown they're going to go over in that area so if they do something like that and you have time in the pocket you'll see that that tight end if i get that if i throw that a little bit sooner that tight end can actually get up against that cover three now you know most of the time they'll either use or the tight end or they'll use or the running back so or not running back i'm sorry but they'll use or the um either the tight end or they'll use or antonio brown so that's just that's just something that you have to be ready for and just something you have to think about a little bit um, as you're going about your business and as you're doing this, because if you can if you can plan on that and you can hit these routes, this route to Gronk you can also smart route it. You see it'll go. See that right there. See how it'll go super sharp. That will also help it as well. So again, against that cover three, pass lead that up, click on, and that's kind of what I'm talking about that you can get out of that. So that's part of what makes this one of the best plays in the entire game. Drini runs this a ton. Uh, the other player that I really respect a lot in the Madden community is Henry, and he runs this play and a ton as well. Uh, so if you you know you want to learn from those guys, this is a concept that I learned from them. Also, really quickly before I take off, if you want to get my full gun bunch guide, it's completely free and it's in our text message membership. All you gotta do to pick it up is just text me. My cell phone number is eight one two two one six. 3644. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Let me know in the comments if it was or wasn't. If you ever have any questions, you can always text me. Again, my number's in the description. I got full ebooks in the description if you want to check those out. But honestly, um, be sure to grab the bunch video. It's like an hour long breaking down the gun bunch offense in Madden 21 in our text message membership. So uh, the text message membership, we send out videos every single week that have full schemes in them. So we've covered trips tight end this week. We've covered U trips, bunch. Um, we're about to cover bunch tight end and some other things as well. So thanks for watching. We've also covered defenses too. We've covered big nickel over GM 335 wide, uh, which 335 wide I believe is the best defense in Madden. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to come by tonight. We stream every night at at uh, 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So looking forward to talking with you guys more there, and we'll see you guys tonight.